And here in its natural habitat we have a castle creation's copperhead. It has created its new life in a VS-410 Phoenix. It's a great thing we're seeing more and more today. Nature. It's so great. done any videos a whole lot lately um, things have been busy most of all they've been sick or really most of all hot really really comfortably hot uh, I live on a fourth level apartment I should say we do and it's a sweat box up here. So we have a lot of fans going. You may even hear Dyson in behind this phone, I should say. Um, but today was actually quite cloudy and windy and the temperature was right down. So I'm going to try and pump out a number of videos so that I can have videos be out next week. I may, may even try and get a run video done tomorrow. But weather permits on. So as you can see, the Phoenix is done. Um, I still am working on getting uh, from uh, Radioactive Scale RC. He's sending me the proper clips to hold the the uh, the, the sand ladders in. Um, fun note for my fiance and I's wedding: this truck is going to be driving the rings up the aisle. Yeah. So I'm getting a new set of these printed. I will do a video on that when they get here. It might be a little while, but, um, well, however long, I don't know. But it's going to be cool. So this is going to be, we're going to kind of do this up, a little special stuff on it. But that's for another video. This video is strictly just to show the Phoenix. So obviously we've got the Flying Guy RC sticker, we've got the uh, Vanquish Stickman, Scale Builders Guild there, all the stickers along the side, and along the side. They're all slightly different from side to side, so stickers on this side might not be... Somebody called the Wambulance. That's a fire truck. Uh, so that, and it's close. So the stickers on this side are slightly different positions than the stickers on this side. I don't know why I did that. I just did. The interior, if you can see in there. I'll get a little closer. Uh, yes, Raphael is driving, Ninja Turtle is driving the Phoenix. But if you see on the seats, my fiance did some painted green on the uh, just the cushions part of the seat, and then the uh, the dash here is just a lighter silver, just to kind of give it a different feel of things. Uh, but the green, yes, ironically goes with the Ninja Turtle, but it's to kind of go with the green rims. Um, and then there's. Toyota, whoops, Toyota right there. Um, some of these stickers are not staying too well. Preferably these copperhead ones. So these are coming up. I don't need these on here. They're just peeling and being a pain in the rear. Oh. Let's get rid of that. And of course, here we have the Phoenix chassis. So there's the green rims. You've seen pictures of those, you've seen the video on those. Uh, I've got the muscle winch all hooked up. One note with the 
Phoenix, the uh, or the uh, VFD twin. When you're mounting the transmission in the transmission cover, which I don't have up here at the moment, it's somewhere else. Not there, it's somewhere over here. Um, when it gets all mounted up from underneath and everywhere else, like especially this hole right here, it tweaks everything for some reason. So that's the things I learned about this truck while trying to figure out why things just felt really bound up. And that was the first thing I was told. Now, of course, everything's nice and smooth, no problem. Uh, I've got the waterproof receiver box on this side, and it's actually screwed in to one of the servo. See right here, where my finger is. Hopefully that gets in the camera. Uh, I just screwed it in, so it's on there. I can slide it out a bit, but it's on there. It's not going anywhere. At least at this moment. Um, now on this side, obviously everything's the same, but again, muscle winch, servo, just a normal 30, 30 kilogram servo. Works just fine for right now. Uh, I'll get a better servo in time. I have 50 weight shock oil in here, and they may have leaked out a bit. I'm not 100% sure, but they're still working. They definitely leaked out. That's, that's fine. I'm probably going to end up switching the shocks up to different shocks, uh, but I'll still keep these. They're a good shock, and I can use them for something else. Um, especially if I'm going to run full droop where I don't really need oil and, you know, really don't even need springs. You know, comp truck. There's a hint to that that something's going to be coming into the future on the channel. Uh, in another video you will find that out, which will hopefully be after this. Um, so motor, we have the Castle Creations Copperhead 10 sitting right there. It's the nice big fan up there, obviously with the, the copper head, head there. Um, this is a censored brushless system. Uh, all sorts of, I will get to the details on that, but all sorts of cool stuff. Sensor wire comes out right here, goes right over to the 2850, um, brushless motor, 2850KV, I believe it's their slate motor, um, and uh, with the test that I've done, I haven't done much, the first run video will be coming, it's got amazing low end, sorry, low end, like mac and cheese with Smokies in it, might not have been the greatest idea, the low end on this thing is great, and the, you know, hit the throttle and it just goes. All four tires, I have hardwood floor, and most of my other trucks, they tend to stick because the tires are very sticky. Peeled the tires. And luckily, none of the beads came off. <laughs> um, but yeah, so there is the Phoenix in its glory. Um, and, of course, the Castle Creations... 1406 28 kV censored motor and so it's the 14 series it's waterproof it's a cryo cryo drive uh, don't ask me what anything these things are smart sense and I know the smart sense so keep that on when you have get your and I do have one it's right here. So, yes, I did buy I did buy the Castle Link. And so when you hook this up to your computer and you do everything, uh, really cool all the different you can like adjust your your RP all sorts of crazy stuff. Um, but with the smart sense from what I've learned 
your motor doesn't always need to be censored. It needs to be censored at the low end. Uh, past a certain amount of RPM, the power is there, so it's fine. So it can differentiate between the two. And it, so if it loses its sensor, it knows how to chew. Go look at Holmes Hobby's video on setting up a Castle Creations Copperhead system. He explains it better, but from what I gather, it can differentiate between the two, between censored and sensorless. That's about as much as I could tell you. There's really something going on up there. <laughs> and you can uh, log all your data. So that was really cool to see all that. Um, and it's nothing on the Hobbywing system. The Hobbywing uh, that I had, for some reason, just didn't want to work with this truck. And um, from what I found out, there was nothing wrong with it. It was just kind of me over reacting a little bit I guess I run brush so brushless is very new to me I've run brush for almost 10 years so however long my YouTube channel plus a couple years has been on I've had brushless a couple times but it, when I had it it was Castle or the Baja Ray that was Spectrum um, it's a bedtime in there so you might hear some whamming. Ironically, you're hearing whamming, and then there's, there's, a, there's, there's sirens. Anywho, so that's 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 what it is. Um, and I sold the uh, the access into a uh, kind of a new uh, RC friend that I've met. Uh, doing some, I've been selling off a few things that I don't use. Like you see, all I have left is the Betty. Uh, my stepson wanted the RC BB-8 that I had, so we traded, sold that. He will be getting a bigger one at some point. I'm going to build him something. I have to choose what truck it has to be. It has to be a durable, can take a beating truck. But anyway, I sold him the axe system and tires. If you notice, the Origin half cab has some different tires on it. Uh, different video but uh, so the axe has gone to a new home and that system was extremely powerful and again it just wasn't working for me with some, for some reason and I know Castle does and so I went with Castle and I've heard great things about the Copperhead I'm so far in love with what I've been seeing and how everything's been working. And yeah. Go get yourself a Copperhead. The joy with Copperhead, which is the downside to Hobby Wing, with Castle, I should say. Oh, you want to use a Holmes Hobby motor or ESC? You can mix around the stuff. There's no, no issue on what you what else you want to use, whatever update, you can use this with that and that with this, no problem. Hobby Wing, you cannot. That became a bit of a problem. So with this, in the future, if I go, you know, I kind of want a revolver or whatever else there is, just throw it right in there, no problem. Mostly. So, she's done. The next thing you got to, I got to get up for you, you great people is uh, uh why is this going on I'm struggling to get my truck together there we go there we go so there we go Phoenix. She's done. Nice big, uh, I guess I didn't do the video on this. The tires here, I'll get a close up for you. The tires, 4.75 Pitbull Rock Beast. Um, again, sold the smaller Rock Beast I had on the Origin. 
Uh, but love the rock beast, but I need 4.75 tires. Um, if I'm going class one, I will use 4.19. But if I'm not class oneing anything, I need 4.75. That's just the way it has to be. Um, but yes, very sticky tires. Um, like I said, with the smaller ones, last winter with all the snow, they stuck. There was no problem. The truck just went. The, when I had the purple body on the origin, it just went through everything. It had no problems. Um, so now I'm really excited with the big 4.75s. That much more clearance with the portal axles. As I'm doing this, you know, a day or two before this video, what's Vanquish do? They release a straight axle kit. I gotta get one of those next year. And they even they even dropped this price like four weeks after I got this truck. Oh, it's it's a hundred dollars cheaper. Thanks, Josh. Thanks. That's right, Josh. You're not watching this video. I know you're not. But thanks, thanks, thanks for that. Yeah. Actually, I don't care. I'm happy to pay what this price what this price was. It just makes it easier for me to get the 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 straight axle. But there she is, in her glory. Powered by a Castle Creations Copperhead system. And as always, so this Copperhead, these tires, the um, the Castle Link system, uh, thing, Castle Link, the, the Castle Link? Castle Link? Castle Link. Castle Link. All came from BC Hobbies. Link is in the description. If you're in Victoria, go on to Hillside Mall, just down from the, you go straight down through the food court, straight to look for Walmart, just keep on going. But right before Walmart, there's BC Hobbies right there. Nice new shop, big, loads of different things. You got gun, they got Gundam Wings, they got other things, they got models, boats, planes, all that kind of stuff. You like, you like trains? You like, you like train tracks? They got trains. You like making the train tracks? They got all that too. You like paint? They got the paint. RC boats, got it. RC planes, got it. Crawlers, bashers, everything, got it. Go check them out. Link is in the description. If you're local, go buy stuff. If you're not, go onto the website, order some stuff. They ship. And even if you're in here, or in local to me, Victoria, BC, you can order stuff on their website. And as long as you're in a certain area, they will actually deliver the product to you. If it's over a certain price, I believe it's free. If it's not, you have to pay a certain fee. I think it's like $16. But it's basically same-day shipping. One of the employees will drive it to your house and hand you your item. All bagged up. Love it. Um, I couldn't be happier working with BC Hobbies. I always call it Shavers because they were BC Shavers for years. Like a long time. Uh, but the, the new owner, Brandon, uh, for just all the right reasons... BC Hobbies. It just works out much better. And cannot forget 88 Hobbies, the Boom Racing Rims setup that he helped me custom custom put together. Uh, also the muscle winch, the winch, the steering winch. Um, I think that's it. Oh, the dual stage phones. The Boom Racing dual stage phones. So, if you're wondering, well, why do I deal with two people? Well, I will deal with more people if I can. I like supporting good people. BC Hobbies is my local hobby shop, and I will support them 100%. Aiden at 88 Hobbies, amazing guy, has helped me with so many things. He gets the boom racing stuff in, and I love boom racing stuff, so he is my go-to guy for anything boom racing. And any questions I have, that if I can't get to the hobby shop, I go, hey, Aiden, what am I doing wrong here? Think of me as a dumbass. <laughs> I swore I'm sorry. And there's a number of other people that I have dealt with. There's, uh, I screwed up the last time, Mr. Wizard. Um, he, uh, he's the one that custom built that fair lead for my origin. He has an online website. Um, does all sorts of cool stuff. So I like supporting good people. The West Coast Gale Trail. Right now, they're doing the scale, 
Adventure Series. It's a two-day event. I couldn't get there. I'm sorry to all you guys over there. Um, it was a cost thing, a timing with other things, and just couldn't do it. But I can get there, like you said, Robin. It's all year round, so I'll get there. We'll film some stuff. Old Miss Warren. But these are good people, so that's why I have that their sticker there. You know, even, uh, uh, I believe, yeah, Extreme Hobbies. I've never done business with Extreme Hobbies, but I know what they've done with this place, the West Coast Gale Trail, and I have no problem supporting people that help people do great things. So that is why I use a few different kinds of people, but DC Hobbies is my local hobby shop that I 100%, you know, so same with the other things, push. Um, love you guys down there. <laughs> love everybody that I work with. Um, kind of rambled on there. But all that aside, hey, go check out 88 Hobbies. Link is in the description. But check out both. Go to all the links in my description. Just just go to all. How about that? I kind of trailed off here. This video is meant to really... Well, it's actually for both. So, yeah. Because of who helped or what came across building in this truck, go to BC Hobbies. Link in the description. Go to 88, Hobby, R, 88 RC Hobbies. God, I'm bad tonight. Check his stuff out. Facebook uh, page. You need Boom Racing, he's got it. And like I said with BC Hobbies, you want Lego, they got the Lego. So, go check it out. Great people, doing great stuff. And thank you to Brandon and everyone at BC Hobbies for all the help you've been giving me. Thank you, Aiden, for all the help that you give me. Thank you, uh, Dirk, at uh, Radioactive Scale RC. All these scale bits and pieces. Sending me the bits to finish this, because I broke one. Is what it is. It's good people. So, thank you. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to call this one a done video. We'll, uh, we'll see you in the next one, which is probably going to get filmed right after this. But hopefully you'll see this truck run video this next coming up week. Hope everyone's having a great weekend. We'll see you soon. Peace out.